topic called the Sylvester sequence. I came across uh, this topic in the community discussion uh, of a famous channel called the CyberMath. Uh, now, uh, I give the link in the description. Please go and watch. Uh, he has amazing collections of uh, various problems in various topics. Uh, all right, now coming to the problem, the Sylvester sequence is given by the following recurrence where the first term is 2 and the rest of the terms are uh, given by the simple recurrence uh, in which the nth term is simply 1 plus product of first n minus 1 terms. Let us denote uh, the product of first n terms as p of n. To understand uh, this recurrence, let us try to find the first few elements of uh, the sequence a1 is equal to 2, a2 is equal to 1 plus a1 which is uh, 3 a3 is equal to 1 plus uh, product of first two elements which is 2 into 3 that is 6 so a3 is equal to 7 a4 is equal to 1 plus uh, product of first three elements 2 into 3 into 7 which is 42 uh, so a4 is equal to 43 and so on this goes on uh, this goes on and on uh, as you can see the sequence is increasing very rapidly uh, so uh, it is easy to observe that uh, as n tends to infinity um, a n also tends to infinity that is obvious right um, okay great uh, so uh, in this video we are going to prove a result based on this sequence uh, this uh, the, the result that we are going to talk about is this summation of uh, the reciprocal of uh, the Sylvester sequence elements converges to 1 that is summation of 1 by ai as i ranges from 1 to infinity this summation converges to 1 this is cool right uh, this is what we are going to uh, see in this video okay nice now um, in order to do that let us make some observations let us start uh, with the definition of uh, the nth term a n is given by 1 plus product of first n minus 1 elements. So let us try to uh, reduce this. That is, uh, the nth element is defined in terms of all the first n minus 1 elements, right? So uh, each element uh, has this information, right? Each element has this information of uh, uh, what is the product of first n minus 1 elements. Each element has this. So let us try to utilize that. Uh, so um, multiplying both sides by a n, we get a n square is equal to a n plus product of first n minus 1 elements into a n. Uh, consider this this is product of first n minus 1 elements and the uh, the nth element so this is simply uh, product of first n elements all right so this gives product of first ele n elements is equal to a n square minus a n simply rearranging the equation uh, we got this nice form now consider the n plus 1 th term a n plus 1 is given by 1 plus product of first n elements and we have this nice form product of first n elements is simply a n square minus a n so a n plus 1 is equal to a n square minus a n plus 1. So we have this nice form. All right. Instead of uh, uh, telling the nth element in terms of uh, all the first n minus 1 terms, this recurrence just tells uh, nth element in terms of just one element, the n minus 1th element. That is great, right? Okay, nice. So uh, we have uh, this nice recurrence where a1 is equal to 2 and the rest of the elements are defined by this recurrence. Right. Uh, uh, th this is one thing and now we are going to make another observation. So uh, what uh, we are summing up is the reciprocal of these elements, right? Let us consider the reciprocal of uh, the element uh, n plus 1th element which is 1 by a n plus 1. This is 1 by a n square minus a n plus 1 uh, by the definition of uh, n plus 1th term. We have this. So what is 1 minus 1 by a n plus 1? This is 1 minus 1 by a n square minus a n plus 1 right okay great uh, simplifying this we get this a n square minus a n divided by a n square minus a n plus 1 uh, the idea now is to get rid of these denominators all right to do that we are going to divide these two equations uh, dividing these two equations we have this 1 by a n plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by a n plus 1 so uh, we are getting rid of uh, these two denominators so we have 1 by a n square minus a n now let us try to get uh, the similar form as in the left side all right so uh, this is 1 by a n into a n minus 1 uh, doing the partial fractions uh, this is same as 1 by a n minus 1 minus 1 by a n mm, now we can write uh, uh, this as 1 by a n divided by 1 minus 1 by a n minus 1 by a n now uh, you can see uh, that these elements uh, these expressions here and here these are in the same form right okay let us uh, denote them in uh, in terms of a function for our convenience let us call this as g of a n plus 1 so uh, this one is g of a n right 
let us define the function g of x as 1 by x divided by 1 minus 1 by x. Uh, if we apply the definition, we get this. Alright, this is for our convenience, but we have to remember uh, the way we have defined this function. Alright, wait. Now, this gives, just rearranging the elements, we have 1 by a n is equal to g of a n minus g of a n plus 1. Okay, this is nice. Uh, now you can guess what we are uh, approaching, right? We are trying to do uh, telescoping the series, right? Uh, you will understand what I mean uh, soon. Okay, now we have uh, uh, nth term of the that reciprocal series. We have the nth term as g of a n minus g of a n plus 1. Okay, now let us consider uh, the sum of first n elements of those reciprocals. So, S, S, Sn is equal to 1 by A1 plus 1 by A2 plus 1 by A3 and so on uh, till 1 by A n, right? This is uh, uh, the first, uh, the sum of first n elements. And we are going to um, uh, find the limit as, uh, limit of S of uh, Sn as n tends to infinity. That will give uh, the sum, uh, the infinite sum result, okay? Okay, now 1 by A1, applying this, uh, equation uh, now 1 by a1 is simply g of a1 minus g of a2 similarly 1 by a2 is equal to g of a2 minus g of a3 uh, 1 by a3 is equal to g of a3 minus uh, g of a4 and so on uh, till g of uh, 1 by a1 a n which is g of a n minus g of a n plus 1 as you can see uh, most of uh, the terms are cancelling out uh, this is uh, what i mean as a telescoping series so g of a2 uh, g of a2 cancel out g of a3 and minus g of a3 and so on uh, so we have only two elements left and they are g of a1 minus g of a n plus 1 okay so sn uh, the sum of first n elements is equal to g of a1 minus uh, g of a n plus 1 okay okay so uh, a1 is 2 right this is g of 2 minus g of a n plus 1 uh, g of 2 is uh, remember uh, our definition of uh, g so this is by the definition of uh, g this is uh, this and similarly uh, this is 1 by a n plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by a n plus 1 okay great so this reduces to 1 minus 1 by a n plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by a n plus 1 right this is the sum of first n elements okay we know uh, as n tends to infinity a n uh, the nth term also tends to infinity uh, and uh, the sequence is also growing very rapidly okay uh, so 1 by a n plus 1 tends to 0 as n tends to infinity so this uh, term this term will go to uh, will approach 0 as n tends to infinity uh, what i mean is this limit s n as n tends to infinity is simply 1 minus 0 so 1 Therefore, uh, the summation of uh, the reciprocals of uh, uh, the Sylvester uh, sequence is 1. Alright, this is what uh, we have proved. Uh, this is nice result, right? The thing, uh, the key thing is, we tried to express nth term uh, in terms of uh, the difference of uh, functions of uh, two adjacent elements so that we can apply the telescoping idea. That is the key. Okay, uh, I once again uh, thank uh, the CyberMath channel for the wonderful problem and uh, hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, this problem as well. Uh, please think about it. Thanks for watching.